Millennium Force is one of the most iconic roller coasters on the planet. It opened in the year 2000 as the world's first giga coaster, meaning it stands between 300 and 399 feet tall. This is a huge ride standing at 310 feet tall, having a drop of 300 feet, reaching a top speed of 93 miles per hour, and it has an 80 degree drop. When it opened, it was the tallest and fastest coaster on the planet. Millennium Force is interesting in the scope of the coaster community as it's one of those rides that has been called overrated so much over the past several years that it's almost underrated at this point. But disregarding all that, today I'm going to look at Millennium Force, give some of my thoughts on the ride and some things it could maybe improve on and give it an overall score based on my opinions. Millennium Force seemed to be a huge milestone in the original Coaster Wars when it opened in the year 2000. It's still looked at as one of the most iconic roller coasters. It's one of those rides that is just so popular. Even people who don't necessarily consider it the best ride anymore will still say it's one of their personal favorites. And this is definitely a ride that I am pretty attached to being at my home park and being one of the first coasters I rode. This was huge for me and I still love this ride. There are some downsides, but there are a lot of positive things about this ride as well. A lot of people call this ride Millennium Forceless. While it is pretty true for the most part that there isn't a lot of positive forces on this ride, there is at least one decent, pretty intense moment, that first overbank turn after the first drop. I know a lot of people have said that they've even grayed out on that a little bit, and even I have just a little bit as well going through that turn. You can definitely feel the force right there. Also, this ride doesn't focus a lot on airtime. This is not an airtime filled ride. There are a few great moments of airtime, but that's not the strength of this ride. The strength of this ride really lies in the sheer speed and just flying through the 6,595 feet of track. That's another thing about this ride. It's very long and it definitely feels long. It has a duration of 2 minutes and 20 seconds, so that's great. For a coaster that goes 93 miles per hour, it still manages to be a very long ride. Not too long. And the pacing is awesome. I mean, you're flying right till the very end. Layout wise, this coaster isn't the most interesting. It has lots of of overbank turns and a couple airtime hills and that's really the whole ride. You have the two big camelback airtime hills, the one small bunny hop at the end of the ride, and then there are four overbank turns. The layout is very drawn out. It has a lot of like huge overbank turns and that's what this ride is made up of pretty much. That is one of the cons, I guess you could say, with this ride. It's very drawn out, lots of overbank turns, just a couple airtime hills thrown in there. So it's not the most interesting layout, but it's just really cool flying through the park at those speeds. And the airtime you get is pretty good, I gotta say. First of all, that 300 foot drop is absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorite drops of all time. Definitely my favorite drop out of all the coasters at Cedar Point. And you just get ejected out of your seat, especially if you're sitting in the back. Great ejector airtime right there with those T-bar restraints. You're so open and free. And that probably is my favorite part of the ride is that first drop. It's great. Besides that, you also have a few other airtime moments, like the two large camelback hills, and then there's also the bunny hop at the end. And all three of those hills provide pretty decent airtime. The bunny hill at the end has a great pop of ejector airtime. The two big camelback hills provide some pretty decent sustained floater airtime. Overall, that's pretty good. So you got four strong airtime moments on this ride, so not bad at all. While this is looked at as one of the weaker gigas out there nowadays, this ride definitely still holds a very important spot in roller coaster history, and it's going to be around for a long time. This is a super iconic ride, one of the most famous in the world, and for very good reason. This was just a huge milestone when it opened, and just the whole vibe of this ride, seeing it as you're driving down the causeway, coming to Cedar Point, it still gets me pumped up every single time. It looks beautiful. The theme music is great, everybody loves that, that plays in the station. Great, great theme music, and the station's pretty cool too. The theming is, well, there's not really much of a theme. It's themed to the millennium. Very basic, generic theming. 
but it's Cedar Point, you know, it's to be expected, but the station is presented nicely, has awesome theme music, so that's pretty cool, it definitely gets you pumped up when you're getting on the ride. Then of course, you know, you get rocketed out of the station on that cable lift hill, the first cable lift hill, I believe, so that's pretty awesome, I love the cable lift hills on these Intamin coasters. Millennium Force was my favorite roller coaster for a very long time, and while it definitely is not anymore, it's still definitely one of the best coasters I've ridden. It holds a very special place, and it's just a fantastic ride, and definitely very unique, and you can't argue how much this ride influenced the coaster industry. So to wrap things up and give Millennium Force a score, overall, very fun ride, not that intense, but very fast, four great moments of airtime, lots of drawn out overbank turns, and it has great pacing. I feel like a score of 9.5 out of 10 is appropriate for Millennium Force. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Millennium Force? Is it overrated as a lot of people say? Or does it deserve to be called one of the best coasters on the planet? Like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to follow me. I'm on Facebook as Coaster Daddy and Instagram as Coaster Daddy Official. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.